In this tutorial, we're going to look at the VLOOKUP formula. I'll show you different variations how this formula could be used. We'll look at how you can look up by number, how you can look up text, how you can look up based on cell reference, approximate VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP from other sheets, and VLOOKUP in the name range. In this VLOOKUP tutorial, we'll overview the formula, we'll look at some cool examples, and then we'll look at the different ways of using VLOOKUP. Looking up based on the number, looking up based on text, based on cell reference, using approximate VLOOKUP, and then using VLOOKUP from other sheets and using VLOOKUP in name ranges. VLOOKUP function helps you find items in a table or range by row. It has four parameters. Let's look at those parameters in more details. Three of those parameters are mandatory and the fourth one is optional. So VLOOKUP accepts lookup value, which is the value of what you're looking for. As a second parameter, VLOOKUP accepts Excel range, basically understanding where the value you're looking for is located. The third parameter is the column number or index number in the range containing the return value. And the fourth parameter, I already mentioned, which was optional, can accept two values, true for approximate match and false for exact match. Most of the time you use exact match, false value that you're supplying. But sometimes you need an approximate match. And we will look at the example of where exactly you will be looking approximate match. If you would like to download this quick reference card as well as other examples in this file, please make sure to check out the description in this video. Let's look at our first example. In this example, let's start with the data. We have a wardrobe which has shirts and pants. Each shirt has a unique ID and then each pant has a unique ID. And for example, there is a color matching theme. So for green, we have shirt ID number 10 and pants matching pants would be number 33. Same for blue, yellow, red and cyan. Now, the problem is that we need to find matching clothes. Right? which is very typical when you're trying to get uh, to a certain event. Not everything matches with other clothes that you have. So you use this cross-reference uh, table for matching shirts and pants for your wardrobe. Now, how would you find pants ID based on the matching color of the shirt? And the matching color we will store here in the cell F7. Right? So the color that we are looking for and the match we are looking for is green. So how would we find that? The formula VLOOKUP that we will be using is located right here in the cell B15. And this is how we do it. We use VLOOKUP and then we say get the value we are looking for from the F7, which is green. Then look in the range B8 through B12, which is this range return the value from the index 3, which is shirt color is index 1, shirt number is 2, and pants number is 3. So that's the value we will be returning. And then use an exact match, which is value false. And the returned value will be 33. So for green, matching pants would be 33. One thing I was going to mention is that if you'd like more detailed tutorials in the form of ebook, please make sure to check out Online Training for Everyone's ebook store, which is located at uh, howtoanalyzedata.net slash ebook dash store. Now let's look at the simplest way to use VLOOKUP. We have a data table with only two columns, color and shirt number. Each color matches specific shirt. So the business problem we're trying to solve is that we need to find matching clothes, basically matching shirt. And we need to find shirt ID number that matches supplied color, which is right inside the VLOOKUP formula. And what it means is that when we supply color, instead of referencing the color in the specific cell, instead, we'll type in the color value right inside the VLOOKUP formula. So this is how VLOOKUP looks for that particular scenario equal VLOOKUP in double quotes green, which is the color we are looking for. And then this is the range B7 through C11. Only two columns, that's the range. Then we supply index 2, 
color is index one that's column one shirt number is column two so that's why we're looking for shirt number and that's why we supply index value as two and false which is an exact match when we hit enter it returns value 10 for green the matching value is 10. let's look at how we can use vlookup to return the text value in this example we have a word robe which has indexed or cross-reference of shirt numbers and colors so for example shirt number 20 is the blue shirt shirt 30 is yellow and you can go down the list and see matching values so the problem we're trying to solve we need to find color of the shirt based on the shirt number supplied and we will be using value right inside VLOOKUP formula that instead of referencing another cell will supply the value right inside the formula this is how it looks like it's equal VLOOKUP 10 which is the value of the shirt number that we are supplying B7 through C11 is the range where we're looking index which is column 2 1 is the shirt number number 2 is the color and then false for exact match what I'd like you to do though to make sure you understand how to do it answer this question how would you find color for the shirt number 30 for that you need to download the file and play with the values and in a second I'm gonna give you the answer and the answer is easy you just modify the value here in VLOOKUP formula and instead of 10 you type in 30 and then you go to the end of your formula and then hit enter and for 30 the matching color is yellow try to download the file and play with the values just to see how easy it is to use VLOOKUP formula let's take a look how we can use VLOOKUP using cell reference the business problem is we need to find the color of the pants based on the pants ID number using the formula from another cell so ultimately we will be supplying ID not directly inside VLOOKUP formula but from another cell in our example it would be cell E6 and this is the where pants ID is located which is number 50 let's look at the VLOOKUP formula that helps us find the value VLOOKUP formula is located in the cell B13 and this is how formula looks like it's VLOOKUP value of cell E6 which is 50 then the range where we're looking uh, for the values which is B7 through C11 which is highlighted right here we're looking for the value in index column 2 which is pants ID is column number 1 and color is column number 2 and then false for exact match and the returned value is red so for ID 50 the matching value is red can I ask you to do me a favor there are a lot of people that look for jobs that require skills described in this tutorial some of them even might be your friends if you know somebody who would benefit from this tutorial and could potentially get hired by learning the skills could you please share it with this person or group of people thank you very much i really appreciate it as i'm trying to help as many people as i can now let's continue and have more fun most of the time you use vlookup for exact match now let's look at the example of vlookup where we use approximate vlookup the data that we have here is the list of speeds with their description let's look at the data we're dealing with of the typical speeds so for example 10 miles per hour is the typical cycling speed on the bicycle 25 miles per hour is the typical car speed in residential road on the busy streets in the United States and you can go down the list and look at the specific cross-reference between miles per hour and the description of that typical speed now the problem is how do we find closest speed limit description based on the specific speed value provided and here we're looking at the specific if you look at the keyword it would be closest speed which means it's not an exact match based on the specific value provided so for example let's look at the speed of 60 miles per hour and where it's going to belong let me explain you how proximate match works in the VLOOKUP formula so we have a value that we are supplying which located in the cell E6 which is speed which is an exact value let's say 15 miles per hour then we supply the range of B7 through C18 
and this is the range where cross-reference is located, miles per hour and then description. We're asking for description to be returned, which is column number two. Miles per hour is column number one in the range, and description is column number two. And then we're providing, instead of false, which is very typical for VLOOKUP formula, we provide value true, which is the approximate match. Now, approximate match, the way it works, is that it always goes and finds the lower, closest, lower value in the cross-reference table. So, for example, for 15, the closest lower value would be 10 miles per hour, cycling speed on the bicycle. And that's the value that was returned down there, where we have VLOOKUP formula in the cell B20. Now, let's change the value here in the cell E6 and see what happens. For example, we change it to 50. And you see that the value was changed. And now the return value is typical car speed and residential road on busy city roads, which threshold for this is 25. Now let's change it again. And instead of 50, now let's say we have 80. And you see once we change it to 80, then we have the value returned is fast car on motorway, typical speed um, running freight trains, right? So which is 70 mile per hour. And because 80, the closest lower value for the value 80 is 70. That's the value that has been returned. Let's see how well it works on the higher values. So for example, let's supply the speed of 1900 miles per hour. And you see that it's the speed of the bullet from the rifle, which is closest value is 1800. As always, the link to this Excel file is in the description of this video. Make sure to download it so you can play with the values yourself to better understand how this approximate VLOOKUP match works. Let's look at the very typical problem, which is how do we reference values from VLOOKUP formula from other Excel sheets? A lot of times we have data located on one sheet, for example, approximate VLOOKUP, and this is one of the tabs in my existing sheet, or could be even another file. And here we have a data, which is data of the speeds, which contains two columns, miles per hour and then description. But we need to do calculation in another Excel sheet. And we're making calculations, and here we're using VLOOKUP formula. So how do we reference the values from another Excel sheet? In this particular scenario, we're trying to understand what is the description in cross-reference table of the entity traveling at 65 miles per hour. So let's look at this data in more details. To do that, we need to go to approximate VLOOKUP tab where all the data is located. As you can see, the description of the traveler at 65 miles per hour, it's the vehicle on the main road traveling reasonably fast. So the question is, how do we do calculation and use VLOOKUP formula and bring all this data into another tab of Excel sheet? This is how VLOOKUP formula looks like. Equals VLOOKUP, we get the value that we are searching for in cell C6, which is 65 miles per hour. Then we reference the tab uh, of the same Excel document, which is called approximate VLOOKUP in single quotes, which is this approximate VLOOKUP. And then we say the range there we are looking for is range between B7 and C18. So let's look at that range. It's this range between B7 and C18. Now, we say that the value that we're looking for would be in the column 2, because when we look at this range, column 1 represents miles per hour, and column 2 represents the description. And we're looking for exact match, which represented by the value false. So when we hit Enter, the VLOOKUP formula finds that the description is which is the vehicle on the main road traveling reasonably fast. Let's verify this. For value 65, the description is vehicle on the main road traveling reasonably fast. Let's look if the VLOOKUP formula can determine who is traveling at the value with the speed of 150 miles per hour. To do that, let's change the value here. And you see that this is high speed train that's traveling at the 150 miles per hour, which matches the value here in cross-reference table. 
As always, my recommendation is for you to download it, look at the formula, its usage, and uh, get more familiar with the file itself and practical hands-on exercises on how to use the formula. A link to the file is in the description of this video. Let's look at how we can use VLOOKUP in the name ranges. First, let's better understand what name range is. Let's start with the range itself. In Excel, you can reference specific cell. For example, this is the cell B7. You can also reference a group of cells. For example, when you select values B7 through B8, that would be a range. Also, B7 through C8 would be a range. And also, B7 through C11 will be a range. Now, let's take it one step further. We can not just create the range, but we can also give this range a specific name. How do we do it? Multiple ways in Excel. So let's say that this is the range we're looking for to create. We select the range itself, and then we click Define Name, and then we can type the name here. So this would represent, for example, our word role. And then we click OK. So that's the reference that I just created. And I can reference now this name in my formula calculations. Another way to do it, if you go to Formulas tab and click Define Name, and it will take me to the same exact screen. You can use Created Name Range right in VLOOKUP formula, and this is how you do it. For example, our business problem is that we need to find matching pens based on the provided color using the named range in Excel. The named range we created is called Wardrobe. To find out what the range is, you can click Find, Select, Go To, and it shows all the named ranges that we have. So Wardrobe would be, if we select it, are the values B7 through D11. Now, we have the color that we're looking for, which is green, located in the cell F6. And the VLOOKUP formula is, lo is located in the cell B14. And this is how it looks. We are looking for the value from the cell F6, which is color green. We're looking inside the named range called wardrobe. We're looking for index column number three. Color is one, shirt number is two, pants is three. So that's the value that will be returned. And we're looking for exact match, which is represented by the value number false. And the value returned is 33. As always, if you'd like to download the file and play with the values yourself, for example, this is what you can do. You can put the color red here and see how it changes the values. To better understand, it always helps to do hands-on exercises. If you like the content, please make sure to click the like button and share with your friends. Also, there's tons of information in the description of this video. Make sure to check it out. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.